morning, you guys. Forgive my voice if it's a little scratchy. I'm kind of like battling a sore throat right now. Anyway, um, I am even eating a cough drop, but we are actually going to go on a run today and we're going to do our very best. We will see what happens with this situation, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to film a what we eat in a day since we're probably both going to be pretty hungry. Nate is off today, so he is available all day to film with me. So I thought that's what we would do. And I know you guys really like these kinds of videos and I haven't been able to do one in a while. And so here, here it is. I, I have no idea. We have nothing planned other than running today so hope you guys enjoy please do give it a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it but yeah we are actually gonna go to this like new area um, we got uh, the app called all trails and basically you can see like different trails that people have used or that are just known um, people make up their own and then post it and so we're gonna go and try to find one that's pretty uh, decent. Anyway, <laughs> I, I'm not really a runner, but I'm doing my best. Anyway, Nate and I both have one of these like blender bottles. We use them often. I love them. I got these at Target. You can find them pretty much anywhere now. And I think what I'm going to do to start the day, we did have some coffee. That's all though. Um, I do work out fasted by the way. Like a lot of people are really, really into that. And a lot of people are like, no way. And to me, I say, do what works for you. <laughs> if you do not feel good from doing that, don't do it. If you feel good from doing it, do it. For me, it feels good. I like it. But I do have coffee. So I mean, maybe not 100% fasted because there's a little bit of like milk in it, like almond milk or soy milk or creamer or whatever. But um, for the most part, I don't eat, you know. But since this is going to be, you know, out of my element a little bit, I love lifting. I don't love running. But um, I'm going to take a little bit of pre-workout. So let me show you the one that we use when we do. We don't do pre-workout like all the time, but when it calls for it, we do it. <laughs> so, you know. All right, so I have been taking, when I do, the uh, Garden of Life Energy and Focus, the pre-workout. Um, it's a blackberry flavor. It's not like the best tasting thing, but also not the worst. Um, do a scoop of this in there with some water, shake it up, and I'm gonna sip that on the car ride to where we're going. And I'm gonna make one for Nate as well. Speaking of which, nope, not yet. <laughs> He's getting the kid off to school right now. So I'll show you what this looks like and we'll kind of go from there for the day and we'll see what happens. I don't know. I just know we're gonna be really hungry afterwards. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> will, will you film this for me so I can show them what it looks like? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What do you think of the flavor of this? It's, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't like dissolve 100% yeah. and it kind of is a little gritty, but it's not it's bad. It's kind of normal. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's all right. It's very drinkable. It's, it's drinkable. just not the tastiest thing in the world. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't really do pre-workout often, but sometimes if you know you're in for it, you know you're in for it. It'll just help you sweat. I do like this one though because it doesn't make you like super flush or like make your heart race like crazy. I hate that feeling. I yeah. hate it. Um, some people really like that, but actually, it does make you sweat. It does. I actually hate pre-workout. Yeah. I hate it. I've yeah. done it before in high school and when I worked out and stuff like that a long time ago and I hate pre-workout. I actually like this. This one's stuff. not bad. So I would mm -hmm. recommend it if, it's, if you're kind of new to that right. whole world, but yeah, we'll sip on these in the car on the way to these trails. We're actually going to uh, Millerton Lake area, if you are familiar with the Fresno Clovis area. And there's supposed to be like three or four trails like near that lake. We're going to try that out. Yeah, there's one that's 17 miles. I'm going to hashtag goals that. <laughs> <laughs> no! Look how pretty she is. Look at that face. <laughs> it's a face only I guess I can love. <laughs> All right. Kids. We're back. Kids. <laughs> yeah, so we literally got there, guys. Pulled in. Got a phone call from the kid's school that he got sick at school. And we had to go pick him up. So we were like 40 minutes away. Yeah. Just got back. And he's all right. But he's a doctor appointment later. But this is what happens. Real life. Yep. So I just got back from doing a run around the neighborhood. And Nate's on his way out now doing the old switcheroo. So this was not no 10-mile run today after all. But Nope. Maybe next week. But we'll see. Life is life. Life is life. Parent life. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I got 2.5 miles in and I'm done. And I'm going to take a shower while you go. 
and we're about 45 minutes away from 11, which if you're newer, you might not know that we do try to do intermittent fasting and we usually mm -hmm. eat between 11 and seven. So it's good timing. So yeah. get a nice shower, I'm red. <sighs> anyway. I but, gotta go put in some work. I haven't been to the gym in two days. Oh, cause so. it was his birthday and he took full advantage. So, I did. I did. <laughs> but now we're back. But yeah, so we thought we'd check in. That's what happens. Yep. It is what it is. Next time. Next time. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make my first meal of the day, and yes, it is oatmeal, my friends, always, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna branch out. Usually, I do the same thing every single day, um, which just entails some rolled oats or some steel-cut oats with peanut butter, flax meal, peanut butter on top, and blueberries. This is a daily staple, but I actually have some of these oats here that I got in a vegan cuts box a while back, and I tried them out the other night, and they were so good, but it is a blend of oats and coconut. That's it, and I'm gonna do that instead. I'm gonna do a half a cup, put it in here, and I'm gonna mix that with water. I actually just like my oatmeal with water, but of course do milk, whatever kind you like, if you'd like that instead. But I'm gonna do like, I don't know, a cup of water in here. Microwave this for like a minute and a half, let it sit for a bit, and then, just to be different, I'm actually going to cube up this Cliff Builder Bar, and it's the vanilla, vanilla almond one, which I thought would go good with that, and then put some blueberries on top. So no extra peanut butter for now. <laughs> the day is still young, and I think that's gonna be a really, really good combo. So let's see what happens. Plus I can show you what the inside of this looks like. So I always talk about it, but I haven't been able to show you in case you haven't seen it. So let's, let's do this. So here's what the bar looks like all cut up. You can see, like I've explained before, there's like a layer on top that's like the chewy layer and then like a crisp for the rest of it. Hi, Coco. And um, this one is coated in like a vanilla chocolate. It's so good, so yummy, but that's gonna be my topping. Carbs on carbs, my friends. <laughs> Actually, just to speak to that, I do like to have kind of my first meal of the day kind of carb heavy, and then the rest I kind of taper off. It's kind of weird, it just kind of works for me though. Um, I am not anti-carb whatsoever. It just actually sounds really, really good after a workout, whether it's big or small, and this is just something I've been doing for months now. So you can see like the coconut kind of comes to the top there. It's really good. It's kind of like, I'm always someone that doesn't like sweetened oats. I don't add sugar or anything like that. That's just never been like my thing. But this actually kind of makes it sweet because of the coconut without like actual sugar, you know? Oh yes, oh yes. Good stuff and some blueberries. There it is, my friends. Looks good to me. Hello. Hi, guys. How was your run? Good. How was your gym? Good, good. Yeah, you did a double whammy today. <sighs> yeah. I just did the run. I took uh, a break. <laughs> uh, 1,200 calories. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, so. Good job. I'm good. Good. I'm good. So I'm making him some of that just egg which we showed a video i can link it right up here if you have not seen that testing this against the follow your heart one well it does say when you open that uh just egg up that you're supposed to use it within like seven days of opening it you got to say it in this creepy voice seven days, seven days. <laughs> but uh yeah i will link that up here if you have not seen this before but I'm gonna just make him like some scrambled eggs. And actually, these have very similar macros to a real egg. Like they actually do have protein, um, they're low carb, and a, a little higher on the fat side if you were to look at it all together, you know? It's kind of crazy, because it's not an egg. <laughs> no. It's not. But yeah, you just basically stir it up until it becomes scrambled. So Nate's just gonna have the just egg. That's like six to seven servings of it. He, he'll eat it all, he doesn't even care. And then um, leftover asparagus from yesterday and then half an avocado with everything but the bagel. Nate's gonna make, um, just blend it up in that little shaker bottle, a some PB Fit and the Orgain protein powder, um, just to make it like a chocolate peanut butter uh, flavor, plus to give even more protein. And he's currently stirring my peanut butter, so I will have a fresh batch, but he hates doing this. Just <laughs> this brand, just 
and for whatever reason, the sprout's creamy. It's pretty bad. It's like cement. <laughs> you have to like do this for so long to turn it back into peanut butter. And then you store it in the fridge and then it's fine. You only have to do it one time. But it, uh, uh, <laughs> oh. And look, I've been going to the gym. <laughs> you think I'm training for a Spartan run? Nope. Nope. Just to uh, stir just some to peanut butter. Turn some peanut butter. <laughs> oh, see that? See how it gave away? <laughs> anyway, I'm also going to cook up three batches of this asparagus. We eat this so much, guys. Um, I'm going to snack on quite a bit of this probably. Um, and then I will have the rest for meals throughout the uh, rest of the week. Well, probably the next like day. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds better when you say that. The though. week's almost over. Right, right. And you just, we'll check back in with you in a few hours. This does take about an hour. <laughs> So for dinner tonight, um, we are going to make our kind of go-to meal, guys. This is for all of us. We're going to make this entire box of edamame spaghetti. Nate will probably have two servings of it. I will have one. And then if not, if we only each have one, there's four in the entire box. We'll just save it and he can take it for like lunch tomorrow. But I usually do that now, guys. I cook the whole box. It's just easier. We eat it so often. It doesn't go bad. <laughs> um, and then some nutritional yeast. And then earlier today, all I did was I cubed up an entire brick of tofu, which is five servings. Well, typically, we eat at least two servings each anyway. So technically, it's like two and a half each. And if we eat all of it, which we will. And I just put in a little bit of garlic powder and barbecue sauce. And that is it. And it's just been sitting in there all day. And I have my air fryer basket here and I'm going to put all of that in there and I'm going to air fry this probably on like 375 for like mm, these are pretty small chunks this time so I would say maybe like eight minutes or so there's really no right or wrong it's more of like your preference of the crispiness that it has and I'm going to literally put this on top of this with sprinkled this that is it. <laughs> and I know it seems kind of boring, but it's one of our go-tos and we love it. And you know, just to touch on why this is such a go-to for us is essentially, guys, for me to have one serving of this and two and a half, two-ish servings of this um, with nutritional yeast too, which does have protein. This meal is like 50 grams of protein right there. Easy, done. And it's filling, it's good, and it's just a quick way to get it in, you know? <laughs> and for Nate, he's going to have this probably again with like two servings of the pasta, which will put him at like 75 grams of protein right there. Since we do lift weights and we are super active and we are in definitely training mode right now for our upcoming Spartan race, this is just something that we really take seriously and try to get as much protein as possible while eating vegan. And it's not impossible, but it does take like figuring it out and finding the like ingredients out there that are going to help you do that quicker, <laughs> but also still keep the calories down or whatever it is that you're looking to do, whether you eat low fat or high fat, um, low carb, high carb, but just kind of finding what works for you and is balanced out all around. This is just a staple, my friends. We love it. It's so good. And this is just such an easy matchup and it just works. And nutritional yeast too, guys, it's so like underrated. And again, if you're not even vegan yourself, like this is just such a great meal. It really is. And so helpful. I put in all of my numbers with chronometer already for you guys today. And I am at 93% of like all my targets and you can't really beat it. I mean, it's really, really good. It's with like under 1600 calories still. So I figured it out and I'm always here to show what I figured out with you guys and just give you guys my little tips and tricks along the way. So I just wanted to share that with you. And So here they are all finished up and I'm telling you guys super, super simple. Hey, super simple. It's one of our favorites, huh? <laughs> it's easy. It's an easy one. Yes.
So that is dinner. Five minute so meal. <laughs> yes. Thanks for filming with me today. Yeah. Do you want to do the outro? Do it. No pressure. <laughs> Wait. The outro being just like, thank you for tuning in <laughs> next time. <laughs> You can't put me on the spot. It has to be like, it has to come from the goofy side. It just can't be like a do it. Do it. Um, alrighty, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, if you like what you saw, big thumbs up. Subscribe button right there. Double click on the little bell to get notifications. Oh, my god. Post about two to three times a week, around 730-ish. Man, that's what we do. <laughs> uh, follow me on my other social medias, Facebook, or go to the website, healthylivingwithkimberly.com. Oh, my goodness. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> You're better than me at this. <laughs> Bye. Bye.